And good evening. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Planet Herring. I'm Michael, and we are attempting to get going here. We are going to be once again in the Audi RS3 tonight. Uh, this week we are in iRacing Season 2021. Uh, why is it that when I start talking, everyone else starts talking? Mute. So there we go. We are in iRacing 2021 Season 1, Week 5 already. When Again, we're at Saguba in the Audi RS3 front-wheel drive. And we've got about 15 minutes till the actual race. So we're going to get some practice in. All right, of course, uh, we've got all of our Z1 dashboards up. And we're just going to get out here and... First and foremost, uh, unmute this thing so you can hear the car. There you go. Doop, 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 doop. Put my gloves on. I do find it since uh, getting the Thrustmaster Alcantara Sparco wheel, it is much better to drive with gloves on. And handy dandy little uh, summer driving gloves uh, nice grip on them uh, very lightweight very breathable very inexpensive on Amazon uh, leave me a comment if you'd like to have a a link to that put in the comments below or put in the description and we're gonna take and let's see Let's unmute our friends over there on the iRacing chat and let's see what we can do as far as some times here. So again, we got about... Uh, it takes it's clear. Don't cross the white line. 15 minutes here. So let's just do a couple of laps and we'll start calling those out. Of course, this is a front wheel drive car, which means that... Uh, Left foot braking is the order of the day if you don't already do it. Um, it's definitely one of those things I um, resisted, but uh, definitely in front wheel drive cars, it has proven to be very useful. So now let's see what we can do with Sakuba. I have actually done pretty well with this track in the past. So there we go, fourth gear, nice and easy around the last turn. And we're gonna come up here, third gear. Car's gonna have a tendency to wanna come around on you. Third gear, nice and tight around turn one. Don't have to go to second at all. Third gear again. This car does not. Sector one is zero one two eight off the pace. Car does not respond well to pushing around corners, so you just want to be patient. Third gear again on that last uh, last hairpin and coming up hard. Feather that throttle on around. P2. Sector three times okay. Okay, so it looks like we're about two tenths off. Sector one is 0.47 off the pace. Not doing faster than last time, I guess. There we go, nice and easy. Just don't try to force it.
The main thing I have seen. Three, that puts you 0.6 off the leader's pace. You need to find a tent in sector three. The main thing that I found with this track is people mess up on that final corner. Tenth off the pace in sector one. Mainly because I can't deal with the inherent oversteer. As back end wants to come around, there's four tenths right there. Sector two is zero point zero five off the pace. See how they like that. B2, good lap. That's your quickest today. Sector 3 is 0 0.06 off the pace. This car does not like riding over curbs. You can just forget it. Also does not like being driven hard. <laughs> that is an absolute for certain. I haven't tried going around a fifth. I don't know if that gained me anything. Yeah, maybe a little bit. You do it right. P3, you're currently 0.8 off the leader's pace. Sector 3 time is quick. You're two tenths off the pace in Sector 1. Nice and easy. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Let's try that fifth gear thing again. Well, yeah, a little bit slower. At your quickest lap in this session, you're now 0 0.22 off the pace. Sector three time is fast. You're a tenth off in sector one. Maybe. Let's see if we try it in fourth. Yeah, that's faster. P2, that's your fastest lap today. That puts you 0 0.22 off the pace. Sector three times quick. Sector one time's okay. Nice and easy. Oh, that's a good time up. Don't know if I'll be able to retain it. And there's first.
Oh yeah. Your quickest overall. Look at that. Sector three time is fast. That's dominating right there. Although I know that there's guys that can do a lot faster. So as you can see, it's really just about finesse. You don't need, this car does have a lot of torque for a front wheel drive car. It's such a small car in that. You don't have to go down to second. You don't really have to push. It's really just about picking the right line and letting it go. There's nothing you can change. You're now 0.6 off the pace. Oh man, he beat me, I told you. Sector 1 is 0 0.37 off the pace. perfect tires I could probably do it but sector three times okay yeah sector three times okay so sector one times the problem Right on the cusp, ever so close. Well, at least there will. <laughs> that puts you 0.5 off the leader's pace. You've just done a 59.92. At least we are right up there with these guys. Just ever so slightly off. Yeah, I do believe it's first, first, second, second. That was a one minute. Yeah, exactly. Sector 1 is 0 0.35 off the pace. Not much faster, ever so slightly. You're a tenth off the pace in Sector 2. And there it is, there is time to start. 
All righty, so it is time to join the official race session. Victor 3 is a tenth off the pace. Uh, so it looks like we're doing pretty good on this one. And before I head over to race, let's look at it real quick. It's still flashing. We're about three tenths off. We are still in, well, it says third. That's kind of weird. Well, I guess that's our driver number. Oh, well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit the race button and uh, we'll probably be dropped right into the practice session. So we won't change over to the other just yet. Go ahead and get ready. Do, 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 do. Hope everyone's having a good 2021 so far, wherever you are. Hopefully, staying safe. Not too bad of a year. Guess it depends on where you're at and what's happening to you. My year, not so bad so far. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. So anyway, tomorrow night is Wednesday, and uh, we will be, I will be at least, uh, doing the RM Solo Winter Series. I haven't been streaming that because I've had some difficulties uh, with the new rig with the uh, 1440p monitors that we upgraded to. Uh, didn't have a way to stream that and run Project Cars 2 or um, AMS 2. And I now have that rectified. So starting next week on Wednesday nights, I will pick back up with the RM Solo Sim Racing Series. Uh, we'll be in the, I believe it's the fifth set. But uh, the way it is, uh, I've definitely got most if not all of the kinks worked out of the rig after the upgrades over the last few months uh, 1440 144 Hertz monitors I have to say two thumbs up you can't see my thumbs in the black background there look at that there you go uh, but yeah if you if you have a 60 Hertz monitor and you're racing upgrade 144 Hertz way to go the, the smoothness in the motion is just uncanny. He never would have realized that that was the case. Oh, how much time we got left? We got about uh, five seconds left to the qualifying session. One second, there it is. And of course, you know what that means. That means it's time for qualifying. Okay, so here we go, qualifying session. Uh, not much to worry about here. Again, this is the Audi RS3 car, and it's a fixed setup race. There's absolutely nothing to change on this car. Uh, do not run it with any kind of shift aids or anything like that. It's completely automated. So let's go ahead and get out there we got all of our stuff up let's hit the qualifying button everything seems to be working don't need our standings over there just leave it on lap timing so you can see as much information as possible and uh, no clutch or anything just put it in gear and press the gas tracks clear push 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 we've got two laps to set a decent time so we'll talk about starting here real quick as we run um basically you start and you get to third gear as quickly as you possibly can without over revving it and that will absolutely save you a ton of trouble and a ton of wheel spin just start off relatively slow accelerate smoothly and go to third gear Car has a funky rev limiter. That's it right there. So come in here, a little bit of braking. Don't let the back end come around on you. Just hug that inside line and accelerate out to the edge. All right. Down to third gear, brake going up the hill. 
Hit the apexes. Two downshifts. There we go. Light tap through there. There we go. Nice and easy through that. Accelerate out of the corner. Third gear, all the hairpins. All right, going down. We got up to fifth. Probably not as clean as I would have liked. P3, that, that was a 59.94. I definitely was not as clean as I would have liked. Might end up with third, but that is definitely not what I wanted. Yep, that is definitely not as good, although I have to say my P4, your lap time oh. was at one zero zero point one seconds. Yep, that was not awesome. All right, let's just take and stop here, and we'll go ahead and take a look-see what the results were. Let's go ahead and hide those Z1s. And looks like we are currently fourth. We so far are in the top group of making it into the 59s. Uh, that's good. I do not see the person that was practicing with us so yeah looks like we're in a pretty decent group here uh, only about two two and a half tenths off the pole so that's not too bad I'll take that uh, certainly worth living in uh, living with uh, don't recognize too many names in here huh of course I don't recognize too many names with this with this group anyway um, so we'll just see how it goes nobody that I have had any kind of run in before I don't believe so I guess uh, so far holding pretty steady with the top four so that's uh, that's good uh, we'll see how it goes this this race tends to be a mixed bag Sakuba is is bad because it's small it's tight uh, people tend to overcook the hairpins especially in this car uh, this car does not respond well to late braking uh, no matter what you do and so We'll see how this goes. I've had really good results here. I think I even may have possibly won a race here last season. Uh, but who knows? But uh, let's see. We got about uh, remaining time, about two minutes and 20 seconds. So again, this is iRacing 2021, uh, season one, week five. We're at Sakuba. 2K full in the Audi RS3 LMS car, front wheel drive. And so far we have qualified fourth. So, let's see, don't know how much of information. Well, we got uh, Europeans, Californians, Canadians, Hispano-Americans. Oh, one, two, three, three Canadians, okay. Nobody from the West group. Oh well, guess I'm it. Okay, still in fourth. I've got a minute and a half to go. Let's check the stream. We got uh, maybe one person watching. That's always good. Ah, 
this is the part I hate, is the very long qualifying times. Eight minutes to go around a one minute track. That seems a bit excessive and that means I have to sit here and entertain oh, for way too long, which I am not very entertaining. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying um, before, I absolutely love these 144 hertz monitors. Uh, three of them, uh, AOC um, curved. I don't know if that makes a lot of difference, but they do have very small bezels, so that's a good uh, good help. I don't know that I could be any better. The only thing, only thing is, is that I really would like to have a rig where I could get the monitors really super close, um, right up over the wheelbase where they currently are about 12 inches behind the actual wheel itself. But that, we are down to 15 seconds, 10 seconds going now. And you know what that means? Uh, that means that we are getting ready to go to the race. That's the end of the session, P4. All right, so we are in the race now. I'm going to go ahead, put the Z1 dashboards back up. No fuel to worry about. Let's go ahead and grid up. Uh, going to go ahead and let's uh, let's take the fuel out of the car in case we do need to go to the pits. Do have do have one fast repair. Don't want to gas up the car. Good lord, this thing has a ton of gas in it. All right, got that. Clear the tires. Get rid of those little check marks right there. So if we do have one fast repair, at least we get back to the pits and we get back out as quickly as we can. The other tip I have for this car is that uh, you see the black area up there where the rear view mirror should be as I turn those off. It is incredibly distracting to have the upper quarter of the monitor have what's behind you. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on relative so you can see that. Got all my other information up here now. So my method for starting this car is I'm going to leave it in neutral, not even going to get, not even going to rev up. Minute okay, it turns mate, green. Go, First. Go, go. Not even the best one. Car left. On your left. Clear left. Hey, let's fuck it off the track. Michael, decent start. We can build something from here. All right, let's see if we can catch our friend here. He does it. They almost stop. McLean is now leading. All right, 
we gotta figure a way around Mr. Jones here. Lap time was at one zero zero point five seconds. Come on now. That lap time was one zero zero point two. Okay, Michael, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Keep the pressure on. Don't give him any respite. Come on, come on. Well, we're keeping up pretty good with this guy, but we got some lap traffic up here. Don't know how that's going to end up with us. That's going to end up killing us. You watch. Let's see how wide. Car right, clear right. Sector 1 is 0 0.32 off the pace. Sector 2 is 2 tenths off the pace. Sector 3 time is quick. Okay, Michael, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Halfway home, your fuel is fine. Nice, easy, good concentration. Stay with him, stay with him. That's what we gotta do. 
Just don't hit him. I hate passing people if you hit them. Stay on it, there'll be a chance. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hell, I got woo right on me. The car in front is woo. Seventh position. Oh, well, crap. There you go. I knew that was going to happen. You stay close, but the minute they make a mistake, you're the one who bears the brunt of it. Okay, Michael. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Well, that sucked. The guy ahead is Jones. Damn sure ain't gonna give you the position, that's for sure. Alright, well, I guess it's time to be a little bit more aggressive. And we got two laps. That was a 59.58. Okay, Michael, you're reeling. Jones in. The gap's now 1.0.
That's two minutes left. Two minutes. P7. Oh boy. We're quickest right now. Doesn't mean anything. You've got half your fuel left. White flag, last lap. Right side, play right. Oh well, crap. P7. Okay, it's over. Well, it could have been better. That certainly, certainly, certainly could have been better. Ugh. Uh, he just got loose, and I knew that whether I went to the inside or to the outside, I was going to take the brunt of that one. Everybody gets going slow, huh? We taking a picture? Uh, Y'all posing for a picture or what? Well, could have done a lot better, I think. But, oh well, guess I shouldn't have. Engage limiter. Shouldn't have let him get by me. In five, but we'll go four, back and uh, three, two, take a little look at one. that. So, there we go. Back into the pit stall and let's look at the post race. Okay, hit escape. There we go. And let's go back. All right, so let's see. We're in position five still here. I mean, it was, I mean, it really was a good close battle the whole time. It's just that I couldn't get a run on him anywhere. It was just down to uh, hit him or, and eh, there we go. So there's. try to analyze this going forward he's going into the thing so let's go forward slowly and he loses the back end and yeah probably yeah there we go boom boom uh, I'm gonna attribute that more to Wu who was that was that Wu Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attribute that more to Wu 
than anything else because the hey slow down there's an incident literally unfolding in front of you hey max i gave you a bullet that's where you were at twitch them on the back of your car so there we go oh well all in all though you know at least that uh, you know I'll count that as a racing incident. I don't. I don't think anybody was really super at fault there, and you know that was a good close race for most of it, and even caught him. So that's uh, that's even better. But uh, still finished seventh, qualified fourth, had nice good lap times. I have to say, that worked out pretty well. Let's look at the overall laps here. Yeah, mostly one minute laps, 59s, a good set of 59s right there. Uh, good set of 59s right there, so there you go. Uh, unfortunately, uh, did forgot to do the watch later thing, crap. So maybe somebody will see the URL on the car itself, so. All right, well, we'll call that uh, done. And go ahead and hit pause there. Guess I could do this. Say watch later. Yeah, uh, there it goes. Maybe somebody will see that and give us a look see, but uh, not too bad for this series. I've been doing pretty well. I think there's been only been one race where I was just ugh, awful. Uh, but the rest of them have been pretty competitive, at least in the splits that I get. Uh, maybe earlier in the week's easier, you never know. But again, uh, starting next week, I'm going to be getting back on the RM Solo Winter Series. Um, not doing much other streaming otherwise, uh, mainly this series and a couple of other ones. It's just really hectic time of year for me, and uh, but we'll keep uh, adding in content and hopefully providing some information on how to drive and how best to drive these cars uh, and not just uh, streaming races for you guys. So uh, with that, uh, thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and as always, here's the end card. Hey guys, Michael here. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button. Click on the Planet Herring logo to subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think about the video in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.